dear students uh, welcome to the vidyadri film college for first pc classes for academic year 2021 my name is ashwath pn so chemistry lecturer so i will take the chemistry classes for you people so chemistry is the branch of science that deals with the study of preparation composition properties structure and interconversion of matter so here so used to study this chemistry as a science along with the other branches like physics biology so etc but now at the pu level chemistry is a branch of science which can be studied as a separate subject so chemistry is a branch of science that deals with the study of structure structure composition composition properties properties come reactions reactions and interrelations Inter, uh, inter conversions of matter. So it is uh, so chemistry is the branch of science that deals with the study of uh, structure, composition, properties, reactions, and uh, inter conversions of uh, matter. And once again, the, the basic constituents. the basic constituents of matter are called as atoms atoms and the molecules atoms and molecules are the basic constituents of matter hence chemistry is the study of atoms and the molecules so it is a chemistry is the branch of science that deals with the study of structure composition properties reactions and interconversions of matter in the nature and atoms and molecules are the basic constituents of matter hence so chemistry is the science of atoms and molecules so once again chemistry is interrelated with other branches of science like physics biology geology etc so means of chemistry is having the interrelations with the other branches of science like physics biology geology etc so here so we have major branches of chemistry so that is chemistry chemistry we have branches branches different branches branches of chemistry what are those important branches means organic organic chemistry organic chemistry and second one is inorganic chemistry inorganic inorganic chemistry in organic chemistry and third one is physical chemistry physical chemistry so majorly we have three branches of chemistry they are organic chemistry in organic chemistry and physical chemistry in addition to these three major branches of chemistry we have other branches also like analytical chemistry medicinal chemistry environmental chemistry polymer chemistry industrial chemistry ceramic chemistry nuclear chemistry etc but we have majorly three branches they are organic inorganic and physical chemistry so organic chemistry is the branch of chemistry that deals with the study of carbon and hydrogen 
containing compounds. So it is a study of carbon and hydrogen containing the compounds is called as organic chemistry. In inorganic chemistry, study of elements, elements and compounds. Study of elements and compounds. So the chemistry of elements and compounds is called as inorganic chemistry. And under physical chemistry, in, in physical chemistry, we are going to discuss forces, forces between atoms and molecules, atoms and molecules. What are the forces that present between atoms and molecules uh, are discussed by the discussed in physical chemistry? So, like this, uh, in three branches of chemistry, we are going to discuss about uh, chemical compounds and uh, relations. So, organic chemistry is a major branch of chemistry uh, which is evergreen trend uh, in day to day life. And in organic chemistry, uh, deals with the study of course of inorganic compounds uh, that occur uh, so in, under the earth crust. And physical chemistry uh, deals with the study of uh, forces that exist between uh, atoms and the molecules. The next step, we come to the importance. Importance, importance of chemistry, importance of chemistry. See here, science is the continuous effort of human beings to systematize efforts. So to describe and understanding the nature. So that means uh, science is the systematic uh, study of uh, so the nature. So in that uh, science, chemistry is one of the branch. So then, why do we need to study the chemistry? What is the importance of chemistry? You know very well, chemistry is the study of atoms and molecules. No, very well. Chemistry deals with uh, the structure, properties, composition, uh, reactions, uh, interconversion of matter. So then, in what fields, in what fields, uh, chemistry principles are very important. Where do we use this chemistry in day-to-day -day life? We have to discuss. Point number one. The first uh, importance of chemistry is see the principles of chemistry. The principles of chemistry can be used in the various fields or in the diverse areas like predicting, predicting, predicting weather patterns, weather patterns, weather patterns. So that means to predict the weather patterns. So that means what is the moisture level? So in the air. What is the percentage of carbon dioxide? What is the water vapor level? What is the percentage of other greenhouse gases? So, etc. To so predict the weather patterns. So, the principles of our chemistry plays a very important role. And functioning of brain. Functioning. Functioning of brain. In the hospitals, how the human brain is functioning, whether normally the brain is functioning or whether the brain is abnormal, to detect that, uh, so the principles of uh, chemistry can be used, can be used, and operation, operation of computers, operation of computers. 
so in the various uh, software fields uh, hardware fields uh, in the medical fields etc so operation of com computers uh, operation of computers can be done uh, with the help of uh, the principles of uh, chemistry and second one using the principles of chemistry various uh, industries are manufacturing uh, different types of uh, chemical substances like uh, fertilizers fertilizers you know very well now chemical fertilizers are very important uh, in the agriculture field uh, so to uh, get a very good yield of uh, agricultural products fertilizers dyes different color the dyes are very important drugs different types of uh, drugs can be manufactured using different chemicals polymers now polymer industry plays a very important role in day to day life now for every thing uh, polymer this plastic is very important in day to day life polymers acids alkalis bases alkalis salts soaps soaps detergents detergents metals etc can be prepared in the chemical industries with the help of the principles of chemistry and third one third importance of chemistry is See once again for the growth and development of human body, enzymes are very important. So the principles of chemistry can be used in the preparation of different enzymes. Preparation of different enzymes. Enzymes are the proteins. which catalyze various bio biological reactions in the human body to catalyze various so biochemical reactions in the human body enzymes can be used those enzymes so can be synthesized with the help of principles of chemistry and once again very important important so so it is many life saving many life saving drugs many life saving drugs like like taxol taxol and cisplatin cisplatin can be can be synthesized can be synthesized using the principles of chemistry those types of cis platin drugs can be used in cancer therapy to treat cancer victims or cancer patients so very well as of now cancer and so aids diseases are one of the major diseases those diseases uh, can be treated uh, with the help of many life saving drugs the taxol taxol and cisplatin are uh, the life saving drugs uh, which can be used in uh, cancer therapy cancer therapy cancer therapy to treat cancer patients and azt azt is nothing but azido azido thymine azido thymine it is also a life saving drug which can be used to treat aids aids disease to treat aids victims is a it is a chemical substance which can be used so like this 
principles of chemistry are very important uh, in uh, preparing the many life chemicals like the taxolots, cisplatin, which are used, uh, which are used in cancer therapy to treat uh, cancer patients. And ASDP, azudothymidine, is a chemical substance uh, which can be used to treat uh, the major disease uh, eggs. And next. Uh,
So now principles of chemistry plays a very important role. That principles of chemistry now interrelated with the biology. So biology and chemistry is very important to prepare so the vaccine to treat corona disease. So like this, not only corona disease, many bacterial diseases, many viral diseases, many fungi diseases can be cured and controlled with the help of drugs, chemical drugs. Those chemical drugs can be prepared with the help of the principles of chemistry. Now, pharmaceutical industry is the ever good, ever growing field. Because nowadays, diseases, we are founding many diseases in day to day life. Those diseases can be cured and controlled with the help of chemical substances. So, like this, chemistry plays a very important role in the various fields. Not only this, not only these fields. Now, so environmental pollution, environmental pollution can be controlled by using the green chemistry. Green chemistry is the branch of environmental chemistry, which deals with the, the study of, so with the, which deals with the study of chemical substances which are non-hazardous to the environment. So it is uh, using the principles of chemistry, using the knowledge of uh, chemistry. So the environmental pollution can be minimized uh, with the help of uh, some uh, environmental eco-friendly chemicals. So this color is uh, environmental chemistry or green chemistry. So say you take uh, hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide is a chemical substance, but it is environmental eco-friendly, which do not cause uh, any environmental uh, pollution. So that uh, in the treatment of in the treatment of uh, so domestic effluents, industrial effluents, which cause environmental pollution, uh, hydrogen peroxide uh, can be sprayed. So which prevents uh, hydrogen, pro hydrogen peroxide prevents. Uh, environmental pollution. So like this, uh, in the many areas, in the many areas, uh, the principles of uh, uh, chemistry can be used uh, so that uh, there is a necessity uh, to study this chemistry in day-to-day -day life.